Welcome to InCab Medical. Uh, today we're going to show you how to use the Sterad NX Plasma Sterilizer. Uh, this is primarily for specialty components, plastic, electronics, uh, you know, anything that's going to be damaged doing, using pressure or steam as a means to clean. Uh, the machine actually gets to 50 Celsius, but it uses a plasma arc in order to actually sterilize the items. Uh, first thing we're going to do, of course, is turn the machine on. There's an on-off switch right here. Now, when the machine is turned on, depending on the software, it's going to take you know, maybe a minute to two minutes for it to fully boot up. Now, one of the best features of the Sterad NX system is that it doesn't need any specialty hookups. When you acquire the machine itself, you don't need an exhaust, you don't need any kind of drainage. Uh, the, the plasma is generated through hydrogen peroxide being heated within the system itself. So you don't have to worry about anything uh, in terms of space, any, any worries for any kind of drainage or extra plumbing that you'd need for the, the item itself in your facility. Okay, now that the Sterad NX has been turned on, we're going to go over the materials that you need to actually use the machine itself. Uh, the first thing you're going to need, of course, is the, cons is the cassettes. Now these cassettes actually hold the hydrogen peroxide that you're going to be using for the procedure to work. So once you have a cassette, and as you can see here, there's a, this side up as well as an arrow. So that's where you're going to bring it up to the, the uh, slot for the cassette, and you're going to put it into the cassette like so. Now there's already an existing cassette in here, so when you do push, it's going to start getting hard. When you get close, you'll feel a click. Stop pushing at that click. The, the cassette has set properly within the machine. Now once you have the cassette loaded, then at that point in time, you can, you can come over here and choose which item you want to use for the object that you're trying to clean or uh, sterilize. Uh, we have Tyvex pouches here okay, that have a chemical indicator. Now this will turn orange when it's been processed through the machine. We also have a tray. Now this is meant to hold your bigger objects or whatever the case may be. You simply put the object into the tray you can also incorporate a chemical indicator strip so that way you know for a fact that it has been properly sterilized when you're done. And you simply close the tray and that gives you a couple different options on what to use to actually uh, sterilize the items. Okay, now we're going to show you how to use the plasma sterilizer. Uh, first you'll want to open the door of course. These are your trays. Now when it comes to the trays, all you have to do is simply pull them out. There's a little small locking mechanism that will stop you at a certain point. And then you have your item. Now, of course, going back to the, the Tyvek pouches with the chemical indicator here, we're going to go ahead and use one of these to actually put the item in. Now, it does have an indicator on the outside. However, we're going to go ahead and put one of the single indicators in with the item itself. Now, make sure that it is properly sealed before it enters the machine and then your item is ready for sterilization. Now very important, when you place your item in the machine, that is incorrect. It has to be paper up and you can't have it to where it's going to touch the sides here. It's got to be straight up and down and there can be no overlapping of any other items. So make sure it's very important. If you have something touching the side, it can get in the way of the arc. Uh, and if not, if it's overlapping, it will not be able to, to sterilize properly the items you have ready to be sterilized. Okay, what we have here is a Datex Ometa central temperature probe. Now this is plastic. Now keep in mind, this is not something that could be sterilized or cleaned in a normal pressure or steam environment. So this is the only uh, uh, sterilizer that would actually be able to do the job for this particular object. Uh, same thing, this would be a wrong entry into the machine. You have to have it face or uh, paper up. And then also, when you push it back, keep in mind you can't have any overlapping of the items because then it will not be able to sterilize properly and it cannot be touching any of the sides. Very important. 
with the plastics and any other kind of uh, uh, precision, precision instrumentation, this is the only sterilizer that you're going to be able to use to get them sterilized. Uh, once you have your tools or items, whatever it may be, properly set into the, the top position there, you just simply push it till it locks. Any additional items that you might have in your tray, of course, like I showed before, simply put them there. We're going to go ahead and stick a strip in there with it. That way we know that it is 100% sterilized when it's done. I'm going to close it. Let it lock. And then what we're going to do is simply put it back on the tray. Same principle. And then we're going to push it shut. Again, make sure there is no touching on the sides. The tray is a little bit bigger than the paper or the inserts. So just be very clear that it is not touching any of the sides as you push it in. It's not all the way to the back. And then if you have all of those things done, you're ready to go ahead and close the sterilizer and begin the sterilization. Oh. Okay, now if you've received this error message, UV path is blocked, and that means that the items were improperly placed in the machine itself. Uh, we're gonna open the door. Now, as you can see where the shelves are, the top shelf is out. It was not properly pushed all the way in. So we're gonna push that all the way in. This is your UV path here. So this needs to be unblocked at all times in order for the, the uh, plasma arc to be successful. Now that we've, met, we've moved the tray out of the way, made sure that it's not touching any of the sides one more time, we can close the door and begin the sterilization process. Now from here, you have a couple different cycles. You have a standard and an advanced. And this, uh, this case here, we're gonna go with standard. So you'll pick your pin up. You'll come here and simply click the standard processing. It's gonna ask you to either cancel it or to start the cycle. We're gonna go ahead and start the cycle. Now this is the time that it's going to take for your items to be fully sterilized. Now with this in mind here, other sterilizers that use pressure or steam or anything of that nature is going to take much longer to do the job as required versus the uh, Sterad NX sterilizer. Okay, now this sterilizer compared to other sterilizers, uh, number one, you'll notice the time that it takes. Uh, using uh, pressure, steam, uh, or the gas ones, there's a big difference. This is going to take us 30 minutes. Uh, this, the uh, gas is going to take up to 24 hours. Uh, you also have the steam and pressure uh, generator ones that, that can take you know, an hour to two hours to do the same, same sterilization process. Now also, the, let's say the pressure and the gas, they're not going to allow you to clean certain tools like liposcopy uh, utensils or uh, anything specialty tool-wise that would be damaged. You're not going to be able to do it in one of those other machines. This is the only one that not only provide, provides very quick uh, uh, cleaning of the items, uh, sterilization, but any item that you need cleaned or sterilized in this matter is going to be able to be placed in here. Okay, now we're going to wait the 25 minutes for the, the sterilization process to, to uh, be done. And then at that point, we'll come back and take a look at uh, the objects themselves. Thank you. Okay, now we've come to check the, the process of the sterilization. Still have about three and a half minutes left. Uh, once it's done, we're going to show you what to look for in terms of the markers on the items and uh, show you how everything is uh, sterilized at the end. Okay, now that the process has been completed, the screen is going to turn green. And it's going to say cycle completed successfully. At that point in time, all you have to do is take your pen, come over here to, and hit the little done button. Let's say printing in prog progress. And then from this is in reference to what you've actually just got done sterilizing. And then you go up here, it'll tell you to please open the door. However, the electro temperature may still be hot, so be, be very careful. We're going to go ahead and hit done. Should I open it first? 
Now we can simply open the machine. Now keep in mind the electrode may still be hot, so the inner workings of it be very mindful of. We can pull the trays out. And then as you can see here on the pouches, what was originally a dark orange is now a light orange. This is on the outside of the Tyvek pouch. On the inside, we have the same thing. What was, all, what, what was once a dark orange strip is now a light orange. This tells you that your item is sterilized successfully in the time that it needed. So now you can simply remove all of your, your items here. Push that back to the locks. And same thing with this. I'm going to open it. It has been successfully sterilized as per the strip. So now that that's completed, we can take the, take the object out. Put the tray back together. And then if you'd like to store it, you can simply keep it in there or in the tray provided. Okay, that com this completes the process of steriliz sterilization with the Sterad NX. Uh, here at NCAV, we provide repairs, parts, service, as well as uh, new and refurbished sales for all of your Sterad NX needs or sterilization uh, equipment. Uh, thank you again for watching our introduction to the plasma sterilization using the Sterad NX. This completes our tutorial. Thank you.